JD here, Tyrell Lewis, and we are back on F1 2020. Not for much longer, in fact, because the new game does come out fairly soon, which I am very, very excited for. But we are back driving online, which has been quite a long time since I've driven against anyone, to be honest. So these were... Well, I think this was actually my first race I did, and I actually did this yesterday in open lobbies, which if you want to join, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll be doing these pretty much most weekdays next week, so stay tuned for that and just look on there when I post out when I'm actually doing lobbies. But yeah, this was uh, going to be quite interesting using the custom or sorry the preset setup so everyone should be using the same setups and let's just see how it goes so random grid equal cars and we actually get a very very good start here so going to tell one should be I think it'd be nice and comfortable but we just get absolutely destroyed coming into tell one and well, funny enough all the lobbies I did yesterday which I did quite a lot uh, this was the only time I had actually been taken out by someone. So, um, overall, it was actually a very, very clean experience. And now, we're in P18. And this is something I always advise to people. If you definitely want to get better at Formula 1 games or just anything in general. is just trying to develop a sense of patience when things go wrong because in the past I've definitely let the red mist come down and really dictate my driving as we go down the inside of the Red Bull here and try to do the Mercedes and let's see if we can get this moved on the Ferrari to go dive down the inside no he doesn't so nice and respectful there and the guy who said on my screen I got taken out by I don't know if he actually did that intentionally I think he might have been pushed maybe very hard by someone else but overall as I said the racing I did yesterday against so many people for about three or four hours was some of the cleanest racing I've actually done and it was actually probably the most enjoyable lobbies I've done so thank you very much to those people as I said if you want to stay if you want to know when I actually do go online and do this then Instagram is the place to see that but you can see just be nice and patient just trying to go through the field at your own pace and this is something I recommend as well is to not overdrive it when something is going against you to stay committed to be persistent and now we're coming up to this group of cars now I'm not going to be overly aggressive or anything at all because sometimes that actually really does backfire on you so you can see here we're going to let these few people squabble it out as we're just about miss. The Haas here, now up into P12. You can see a couple of other people going side by side into this corner here, but nothing we're going to be able to do on this occasion. Let's see what happens here. Taking a nice wide swooping line. People going side by side once again. So we're going to try and set ourselves up for the exit of this corner. See, nice and wide. See, the dirty air really is pushing the car out to some chronic understeer. Going to use a little bit of the boost but saving it for the next couple laps because it does go down. So we're going to go down the inside of two cars here. Is this guy going to be clean? We leave a room on the exit and he is actually, in fact, very clean. So GG to him as we've got his teammate up ahead of us now behind that raving guy. Was thinking about going for a move up the hill here. Something I love to try and do, but don't think that guy was going to allow that to happen so they go side by side once again let's see what we can do here the Mercedes gets a little bit caught on that curb and once again I was expecting him to go down the inside there but he was a uh, very very clean so again we're not going to try and go down the inside of this right hander we're just going to allow ourselves um, to open up the corner go through here absolutely love this corner you see the understeer really wanted to push us wide We've still got quite a good line so he's going slightly deep we get a very very good exit are we going to go down the inside here no we don't so again really the patient waiting game and with these setups with the preset setups it's very very understeery 
and your tyres, your front tyres in particular, overcook very, very quickly. So you can see as the laps go on, people are struggling to adapt to the understeer. And with these setups, I absolutely do love. I feel I'm better with this than I am with custom setups in the driving. But we're going to try and take advantage of this little squabble coming up here. So we've got down the inside of the McLaren. He leaves me enough room. So again, nice and clean. Now I'm going to try and attempt to do that move up the hill because I can see his red lights flashing. Or do we get this move done? Yes, we do. Going up the hill. We leave this room on the inside. And that is always a very, very satisfying move to do going up there. Only done that a few occasions in the past. But as I said, apart from that, lap one, it's been very, very respectful and clean so far here. Now we are coming up behind the other McLaren. And we've gone from last back up into P6. So it's actually a very good comeback so far here. Trying to stay within the track limits of this. And as I said, with these setups, you really have to anticipate the understeer getting worse and worse as he decides to actually let me go. So that's very, very kind of him. And once again, everyone's being very, very polite here. But as the laps go on, the tyres are degrading. And I wanted to try and get the faster sap, but I think the tyres are just not a good enough condition. So we're going to try and do the best we can. You can see the understeer again locking up because the downforce is not as high as it would be with a custom setup. So you always see a bit more prone to locking up, missing the apex, but allowing the camber of the corner to do the business for you here. And see the guys up ahead do have penalties. We do go purple in this first sector, so we are on track, but I think we are going to catch these people just a little bit too quickly, sadly. So going through the chicane, hitting the curb on the left, almost losing it on the exit. You can see again, just trying to get out of that dirty air. I know a lot of people say to me, you're taking the wrong lines by people, but quite often it's because I'm trying to get out of that dirty air because it really does unsettle the car quite a bit as we are improving in the middle sector. But again, I don't think it's going to be quite enough for the fastest sap because we're not able to go at the full speed going through it here. You can see the understeer is really, really fighting with the car as Goxley 25 wins the race. So GG to him and come across here. Let's see what we can do. We do a 16 point Five, and that was only actually a few thousand slower than the faster sap and honestly this is something I've really really missed doing I haven't played online for a long time against other people and it was just really really nice to compete and drive against people again uh, it felt really really good it's something I've definitely missed but now we're at Singapore Starting last with the custom livery that I made here. Singapore, one of my favorite tracks to drive on the game with the preset setup. So the understeer is going to be very hard to manage here. So as the lights go out, we've got Ciro Rosberg, a good friend of mine, in this lobby. A couple of people who have just fallen asleep at the wheel at the start of this race. Yeah, and let's see what happens. And it's already carnage. The guy next to me has gone into shadow. We're going to try and sip between, give him a little bit of a lap tap. Let's see what we could do. We're into P13, so not a bad start so far. I was thinking about getting inside there, but let's try and allow people to rearrange themselves on this fast lap. Remembering to save the ERS because it does go down very, very quickly here. So just allowing these two people to go into court. He goes completely straight on. Let's see if we can go around the outside as we just about do it. So once again, the people are uh, being very respectful, very, very nice in this lobby here. As you can see, it's almost full wide of these people putting on the boost a bit just to try and get in amongst this ghost car. You can see the understeer washing me out wide there as we're behind. And Rosberg has just been absolutely annihilated by someone else. So, And someone else has just decided to pull off. Don't know if he's had an engine failure or something like that. We was thinking about trying to go the inside of Wilson, but decided to think a little bit better of it this is the point where you're going to have the most grip and the lap times will start to deteriorate quite a bit as the lap's gone because it's such a long lap around here and it's so punishing for the tyres it's the reason why it's probably my favourite track to drive in league racing because you actually have to manage the tyre temps and the tyre wear something I wish we could do a lot more around other tracks here but 
you can see the understeer is having a bit of effect, particularly for this last corner. Really does want to wash you very wide, but we've made good progress. We've gone from last up into eighth place so far here. And now it's all the case of just trying to get as good exit as you possibly can and trying not to kill the tires while saving as much ERS as possible. So let's see if we're going to use any of the boost going through here. We use a little bit of it, but we decided to turn it off early because a lot of people tend to use theirs very, very early in a race as we actually go purple in this first sector. Let's see what happens here. A couple of people go side by side as Sky Racing goes in very deep. They're going side by side. They're getting a little bit argy bargy going through here. I'm not going to use the boost once again because I'm just going to let these guys just really use theirs. And then in the last few laps, when they have nothing, it should make it much, much easier for me to overtake. But coming through to here now, let's see what happens. Wilson goes very, very wide. So we're going to try and get a good switch back. Now we're going to use the overtake because this is actually an opportunity to do it. He's on the inside. He has to watch the car ahead. So we're going to take that open line round the outside using the boost almost losing the car once again he's still trying to stick in there let's see what happens we actually make a little bit of contact just about saving the car you can see a four tire slide there but we managed to keep it in check whilst saving quite a bit of the ers using the lean in these corners just to minimize the wheel spin and protect the rear tires as well but now we're into p7 MBSFN, who is another regular in my lobby, set the fastest up of the race. Don't think we're going to be in a position to do that unless we get some serious clean air. But you can already see that understeer is really starting to develop. So that's why I'm taking the opposite lines just to get out of that dirty air. So just go and try and get the traction earlier. Using all of the track, we both, I presume, picked up a extension warning there and now i'm using overtake because i can see that guy's red light is flashing so i'm going to try and take advantage of this car the inside but think a little bit better of it once again and the racing is still very very respectful can we go around the outside is he going to pummel drive me into the wall no he is not so we get that move done now we're into p6 still have 70 percent of the so someone is actually going backwards in this race but now it's just a case of just getting together once again just having a double tab a double stab at the steering wheel just making sure i don't do anything silly there and get a good exit getting the drs we're not going to use the overtake button here and now we're going back down to the lean mix just to once again protect those rear tires protect the engine as well making sure it does not overheat and now we're coming up to the third place man of a Jake stop if I can read that correctly so this section is very very especially in a league race are very nerve-wracking and um, because it's very easy to get damaged and lose your wing at any point around the circuit there really is no no real runoff apart from turn one and the end of the DRS straight but we're coming through here now let's see what happens in this corner you can see the understeer really starts to pick up taking that wide line Try and stay tight, get in the corner, get the throttle nice and early here. You can see we've got a lot of the overtake to use. So just trying to get a good exit of this corner. Let's see what we can do now using the overtake button. Does anyone's red light flash? No, it doesn't. We're going to go around the outside this time. And now we're going to actually try and outbreak him. But we do get pushed wide. Just a little bit naughty there. So we're going to get the ears up. But we get an overtake. Illegal overtake for that. Although we got pushed out wide. I think if that was in real life, I think it would have been fair game to try and stick down the inside there. But nonetheless, we have to let him back pass again. And it's still a very, very uh, good drive around Singapore from the back of the grid. So we're going to just try and set ourselves up for this first DRS straight. So still maintaining quite a lot of the ERS and now trying to get as close as possible through this last sector going down to second gear as the understeer really does start to kick in now let's see how close we can get through this section you can see it's always and if that would have been damaged oh we would have probably lost a good chunk of our front wing as this guy is still <laughs> going backwards someone else is going backwards as well in this race here but 
we're going to try and get as close as we can to Sky Racing because I really wanted to try and uh, get third place uh, on track rather than getting it through penalties. So let's see how close we can get through here. Trying to get a nice line and let's see what happens. We're going in about too eager on the throttle. So that's really killed our chance to try and do an overtake through here taking that wide line once again now we're going to use all of our overtake let's see how much battery these guys actually have is any of them going to be flashing the red lights no they don't going down to here so setting a purple first sector let's see if we could go around the outside this time and on this occasion he leaves a lot of room and we get the move done so as i go in very very deep it's very very hard to drive these setups with the preset there is just so much understeer and it's just so easy to snatch a break whilst you're going into a corner as well but you can see making up time on jake scott here trying to take a little bit of a tighter line but once again just a little bit squirrely now we're going to use the overtake the straight properly isn't going to be long enough here so breaking very very hard let's see if we could get some good traction sometimes you can but we're not going to be close are we figured back on the other side no we don't because that would have been a little bit too much of a risk and he already does have a three second or oh, I think even more than a three second time penalty so nothing we can do but we are pushing around this last sector and as I said it just feels really good to be racing again it's something I truly did miss as MBSFN wins we come home in third place from the back of the grid and that was just a very, very satisfying lobbies that I did. And again, people who joined that really, really appreciate the driving. And it was a lot of fun. If you want to join these and you want an invite, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Because that's where I'll be posting when I am going live with these. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this weekend's Grand Prix as well and I will catch you very soon. Peace.